So I'm Virginia Alley here at Ben's Chili Bowl. And we opened this chili bowl on August 22nd, 1958, featuring, of course, hot dogs. There were lots of hamburger places around the city, but no hot dog places, or maybe one or two. So we decided to do hot dogs and top them off with chili. When we opened Ben's in 1958, it was still a segregated city. Uh, we didn't go downtown to the movies, we didn't go downtown for dinner, but we had quite a classy and very active community here. We were known as Black Broadway because we had this wonderful theaters and jazz clubs and so on. And our professionals were in this immediate area. Howard University is close by. But then we were integrated. That began a subtle change. The big change came in 1968 when Dr. Martin Luther King was assassinated. The area was devastated with the looting and the burning and we didn't recover from that for 22 years. The middle class moved away. Heroin moved in with crime. Then crack moved in with more crime. And we became a real serious ghetto. But Ben still had that very wonderful, loyal customer base. Not many, not many, because you couldn't really come into a neighborhood that was so violent. But more importantly, at the end of that 22 years, when the city decided to build a subway system, the Green Line subway system right out front, because there were only three businesses left in this community, they took away the whole street, just dug 65 feet down to build a subway system. And how many employees did I have during that period? Just one. When the sun set, we had to go home because there were no street lights out here. But those few customers and of course the person construction workers found their way between the between the wire that separated us from the 65 foot hole. They found their way into bins to keep us alive to buy our wonderful chili dogs. I, I realized during that time and during our 40th anniversary how hot dogs was actually the force that brought us together. Actually, the thing that united us. They brought us together. And I remember so well when folks could come in and say, I want 10 to go, 12 to go. They didn't even say hot dogs. They just said 10 to go all the way. So the chili dogs have played, and hot dogs basically, have played a major role in our success and support of this community. We brought people, we brought all kinds of people from all walks of life. We've had a couple of presidents in here. We've got people from the political arena, from the, polit the people from the local folks. And I like it most because we have everybody. We don't just have the affluent or the local people. I like it because everybody enjoys a good hot dog.